These kids have more skills than most grown adults. They'll beat anyone who comes up against them. Jace Wilson can run the 100 meters in just 13.5 seconds. It's even more impressive when you consider that he's only 8 years old. Jace's blistering speed is evident in every sport he competes in. But this sprinting prodigy's true claim to fame is his treadmill speed record. Jace clocked in at 17.5 miles an hour on his first attempt before going even faster at an unbelievable 18.2. Did I mention he was only 8? First making waves back in 2019 as a seven-year-old when he ran the 100 meters in a blistering 13.48 seconds. His insane training routine and unnatural six-pack make headlines for all the right reasons. He's since transitioned to American football as a running back and lost none of that red-hot pace. Now 11, Blaze leaves defenders in his dust when he hits full speed. He's not only scoring touchdowns, but making interceptions and tackling as well. It can take decades to master the skills necessary to become a Shaolin monk, so when you see a child demonstrating the same discipline, it's hard not to be impressed. 11-year-old Shi Heng Xiao is an intimidating force, showcasing intense strength, incredible flexibility, and a tolerance to pain that shouldn't be possible for a child his age. While moving into a Shaolin monastery is a full-time commitment, according to Shai, he's just doing this to protect his grandma. Omar Thomas is the fastest kid over 400 meters in the world. There's no one that even comes close to catching the kid in green over that distance. In the 2021 Junior Olympic Games at just 10 years old, Omar blitzed the field in the final heat, smashing the national record at the same time. Proving he's only getting better, in his next race, Omar broke his own record again, finishing 400 meters in just 55.74 seconds. At this rate, he could be a world-class runner before he's an adult. Oh, man. Y'all see a national champion, Omar Thomas. At just eight years of age, Prince Larby is an absolute weapon in the boxing ring. Strapping on the gloves at age three, this prodigy from Ghana trained with his father before entering in regional tournaments against boys much older than him. With 28 wins and no losses, he definitely has that warrior spirit. But it's his insane speed which gets him all the attention. Not just dodging fists headed in his direction, he can throw a blistering 150 punches in just 60 seconds. Pulling off a double flip on a snowboard is difficult enough as it is, but when you're 15 years old, it's next to impossible. Don't tell that to Eli Bouchard, though. He first became famous back in 2016 after landing the insanely difficult trick at the tender age of eight. Growing up in Quebec, the French Canadian was put on a snowboard when he was only one and a half years old. Picking up the sport like a natural, traveling three hours every weekend to train, you can tell the practice is definitely paying off. If I said you had to win in a fight against a 12-year-old boy, you'd feel pretty confident. But what if he looked like this? Ryusei Imai is already being compared to Bruce Lee, and not just because of his rippling physique. As a five-year-old, he performed Lee's famous 1978 Game of Death scene on Steve Harvey's Little Big Shots, wowing the audience with an energetic nunchuck display. From punishing training routines to high-energy martial arts displays, this is one kid you don't want to mess with. Bull riding definitely seems like a sport reserved for adults, so it makes sense that as a two-year-old, Noah Lee's first ride was a sheep. By eight, Noah had graduated to mini bulls. Don't let the name fool you, though. One kick from a mini bull and it's lights out. Noah was a natural at bull riding, holding on for dear life no matter how big or angry the bull was. Now 14 and looking suspiciously like Carl from The Walking Dead, Noah's got a long list of accolades and an even longer list of defeated bulls. Ever since strapping on a pair of skis at age two, Kai Jones has been in love with high adrenaline downhill runs, big air, and plenty of powdered snow. By age 10, he had an extreme highlight reel most seasoned pros could only dream of. At age 11, he skied off a 10.7 meter cliff in Wyoming, a jump too big for people twice his age, but he did it with style. Now 16, Kai continues to push the boundaries of what's possible and safe for just a kid. At just 10 years old, Maxim Reznuchenko has already mastered more than a handful of extreme sports. Some of his adrenaline-fueled adventures consist of white-knuckled downhill skiing, rollerblading at the local skate park, BMX stunts, and even motocross. He was even running parkour courses like a pro back when he was 5 years old. With his sights set on the Olympics, the only problem Maxim's going to have is which sport to focus on.
<laughs> When's a good time to learn how to ride a motorbike? For Jaden Smart, it was before his first birthday. The motocross mad kid was a natural and by the age of four was competing in professional motocross tournaments, winning practically every event he raced in. Now eight years old, Jaden's still dominating events, easily taking out the national amateur championships in a 50cc motorbike. Some people are just born with it. It's impressive enough that a four-year-old can stay upright on a scooter, let alone pull off tricks, but that's exactly what Kai Haynes did. The tiny scooter prodigy broke an American record and became the second youngest scooter rider to ever pull off a tail whip. Now six, Kai's still tearing up skate parks with his willingness to try complex tricks, earning him the nickname Crazy Kai. Here's one kid who found his passion and dove in head first. He's been flipping, twisting, and diving his way to success since he was seven years old. Before that, he'd been in gymnastics, but once he hit the pool, he never looked back. Now 14 years old, he's got a pile of medals that are getting heavier by the day as he cleans up at every championship meet. There's a lot of training that goes into his success, but it's all worth it when he takes home the gold. Chase Carrera lives and breathes football. He might call it soccer, but as a 10-year-old, this tiny prodigy was already striving to be the next Lionel Messi. For everyone watching, it was pretty obvious he had an insane amount of talent. Now 13, Chase starts every day waking up at 5 a.m., followed by a grueling training regimen and skills practice. It's his dream to play for either Manchester United or Barcelona, and with his work ethic, he might just make it. She might look sweet and innocent, but behind those eyes is the skill set of a stone-cold assassin. Shana Zaitung holds a third-degree black belt in martial arts, and by the age of 12, she was already an 11-time world champion. Her specialty is the bow staff, and her complex spins at full speed makes sure no one gets anywhere near her. If conquering martial arts wasn't enough, Shana's now on a mission to make it as an actress as well. Most kids have to wait until they're at least 15 to get a license and get behind the wheel. But Chloe Chambers has been burning rubber since she was just 8 years old. Starting in go-karts, Chloe quickly gained a love for racing and a need for speed. By the time she was 16, the young racing prodigy swapped out her go-kart for a Porsche 718 Spider and set a Guinness World Record for the fastest ever vehicle slalom. Now 18, Chloe has her sights set on being the next Formula One world champion. They say if you want to be truly good at something, you gotta start young. So when Laser Crawford jumped on a skateboard at just five years old, he was destined for greatness. By age 12, he was being noticed and sponsored by big skating brands. His old school skating clips mixed with flawless trick execution quickly made him a household name in the skating community. By 16, Laser had taken out the 2021 USA Skateboarding National Championships with skills that only continue to get better and better. Remember that kid at school that seemed freakishly good at every sport? Well, this is that kid. 14-year-old Cairo Zion is on a mission to dominate every athletic challenge he can. From skateboarding to gymnastics, surfing to Ninja Warrior, there's no sport he won't try to master. A typical day involves trips to the skate park for some boarding and unicycling before heading to the gym for intensive ninja training. If the weather's good, it's off to the beach for surfing or skimboarding before starting all over again. 12-year-old Kaden Golachik is an absolute mini hockey prodigy. After picking up a hockey stick at age 2, he was trained by his father, a former San Antonio Rampage player who taught him everything he knows. He even had a makeshift hockey rink built in their backyard so they could practice. When videos surfaced of the then 9-year-old Kaden smashing plates with pinpoint accuracy, people were amazed at the skill from a kid so young. Despite being from Texas, he hopes to one day play alongside his heroes in the NHL. Kai Hall's been surfing since he was just three years old. It helped that he grew up along South Africa's eastern coastal city of Durban, but it was here he gained a love for the sport. Now 13 and living in Bali with his family, Kai's taking on the biggest barrels he can find in that ever-elusive search for the perfect wave. He can't wait to surf some of the world's biggest breaks and join the professional surfing circuit, but for now, he's just enjoying the ride.